to the service into your head, oh my soul, Lord. And we ask all of for your presence, oh Lord. We ask all of for your signs and wonder, oh Lord. Father, King of glory, let your will be done, oh Lord, into the service in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your will be done into the service in the mighty name of Jesus. For so ever that we make you not to hear us today, oh Lord. Father, King of glory, we ask all of for your mercy, oh Lord. Father, have mercy upon us, oh Lord. Father, show us mercy, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Our call to service this evening. Scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 1, 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord somebody. Hallelujah. He is the reason for this service. He is the reason for why we are gathered today. As we put on our dancing show, we call on the choir to take us to the throne of grace with praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise to the most time. Glory. Make a joyful noise. Glory. He died for me and you. Hallelujah. And he has paid it all. Hallelujah. Amen. Abunu Regod Jehovah Ovadu The sufficient God Abunu Do 
today, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we have come to return the glory. Hallelujah. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Abba Jesus. Father. There is no one like you. He passed the depths. He did not hold. I hold the depths. I could not spare. I need that someone to watch my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pay the debts I could never pay. He pays the debts. Father, I pray 
begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Appreciate you. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate Jesus. Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We hold the debt that we could not pay. But you come and you pay it for thank us. You. you die on the cross of Calvary. You, you pay you. our debt. You, you wipe thank away you. our thank sin. You, you wipe away you. our tears. Jesus, Jesus we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. Say, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the blood of the Calvary that you share for us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, you are going to open your mouth and pray. You are going to tell God. My father, my God. My father, my God. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. You send your son to come and die for me. Let the work that he does, he did in my life never be in vain in the name of Jesus. Turn it into prayer. That the work that he did in your life will never be in vain. That he will produce the fruit that makes him to come and die for you. That which he has come for will never be we not be in vain in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father that which you have done will not be in vain in my life will not be in vain in my life let the work of Calvary pre produce a fruit in my life produce a fruit in my life the work on Calvary the work that you did on Calvary let it produce a fruit in my life in the name of Jesus if you have just prayed that prayer, begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Say, God, thank you for sending your son to come and die for me. Thank you for sending your son to come and die for me. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, it's time for us to take the first hymn. Praise God. So be the wondrous cross with the Prince of Glory. My riches gave, I cannot lose. I forgot it for all my pride. For me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. 
You can take your seat in your heavenly places because he has paid the price for you. He paid the price. The price that he did not own. You own the price. I own the price. And he paid it for all all. He paid it for we all. He paid it for we all. He have me in mind. He have you in mind. When he was coming to this earth, he have me and you in mind. That was the reason that he came. That was the reason that he came. He did come for any other thing. He has we mankind in his mind when he was coming. That was what he came for. And he came to do it just for me and you. Just for me and you. Not for any other person, but for me and you. That was the reason he came. The reason he came will not be in vain in our life. The reason he came to this earth will not be in vain in our life. When we, the cut to seven that we, we, that we read, John saw him coming and he said, this is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of men. That taketh away the sins of men. We, when Adam committed that sin, we, we were the one that committed it. Praise God. We were the one that committed it. And when men fall from grace, when man fall from grace, it affected every one of us because a curse was placed on man that he will suffer for that which Adam has done. Praise Master Jesus. Sin come to this earth by the first Adam and salvation came to this earth by the second Adam. And Jesus brought salvation our way. This is the reason that we are gathered today. This is the reason that we are here today. We are not here just to look our faces, but we are here to celebrate that victory that he, he wrought for us on the cross of Calvary. That victory that he wrought for us on the cross of Calvary that very day. That is the reason that we are celebrating here. Not that we are mourning, but we are celebrating the victory that Jesus has given to us. Praise Master Jesus. That was the reason that he came to this earth. And when he came, he gave us the reason to celebrate. That victory is ours. That victory we are celebrating today. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. I brought you a little exhortation this evening just to exhort you to give you the life that Jesus has given to us. The life that Jesus has given to us. Can we open our Bible to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17? James, chapter 1, verse 17. Praise Master Jesus. Before I go further, let me appreciate my father because he is the one that has given me the platform to stand on. He is the one. It's not other person than Pastor Nosa or Morige. He's my father. He has given me feather to fly. Praise Master Jesus. Behind every successful man, there is a woman and the mother in Zion, Miss Disciple Grace or Morige. God bless you, ma'am. For that which you are doing in our life. Because if you have not been by our Father, we won't be standing here. Praise Master Jesus. May the good God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's take our test from James chapter 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And coming down from the Father of light. Which whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Praise God. The little exhortation I, br I bring your way this evening is the universal gift. The universal gift. I titled it the universal gift. Gift is the expression of the giver. Giver's heart. Gift reveal the intention of the one giving the gift. The universal gift of God is the expression of God's love towards mankind. Therefore, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. The universal gift of God is towards we all, is towards every one of us, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. He gave us his son. His son is born to us a son is born to us a son is given and jesus was given to us that we will be able to manifest the glory of god on earth to manifest the glory of god on earth when adam fell from glory we 
also fell from glory because it's man that fell from glory. Because when man fell from glory, he, the glory God has bestowed on man departed from him that very day. Praise God. But when the gift of God was bestowed on us, the glory come back. The glory returned back. That is the glory you and I is enjoying today because the universal gift was given to we all. The universal gift was given to you and I. For this universal gift, we are celebrating here today. Praise Master Jesus because he knows that we all will be standing here celebrating Jesus this evening. That is the reason why God has given us this gift. Praise God. In John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, that I just read that whosoever that believeth in him should not perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That is the reason why he came. That through him, you and I be saved. You and I be saved. That through him, you and I be saved. That is the gift of God for you and I. That is the gift of God for you and I. Jesus was the propitiation for our sin. Was the propitiation for our sin. That gift that God has given to us. For us to enjoy the glory that he has bestowed on us to for us to enjoy the glory that he has given to us jesus came that you and i will enjoy life that you and i will enjoy life abundantly that you and i will enjoy life abundantly that was the reason the gift was given to us that was the reason that we have the gift praise god praise master jesus what makes it a gift? What makes it a gift? There was no price tag on it. There was no price tag on it. When someone is giving you a gift, you will know that it's a gift because you are not going to buy it from the person. When God was giving us the gift, he gave us the gift freely because he said, whenever we come to him, we will receive the gift. Whenever we come to him, we will receive the gift. That is the reason why he gave us the gift. The gift was given to us because there was no price tag in it. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1. Isaiah 55 verse 1. There was no price tag in it. Ho, oh, everyone that tasted, come ye to the waters. And he that had no money, come ye, buy and eat. Ye, come, buy wine and make without money and without price. Praise God. There was no price tag in it when he was giving us the gift. He said everyone that tastes should come. If you taste, you come. That he will fill your belly. He will fill your belly. Out of your belly will flow the rivers of living water. Out of your belly will flow the rivers of living water. When you receive him, he will give it to you life abundantly. He will give it to you life abundantly. Whenever you receive a gift from somebody, you show appreciation for that gift. Praise God. You show appreciation for that gift you will know that this person will give you something that is a gift. That gift is matters to that person, matters to the person that is giving it to you. Praise Master Jesus. That brings me to number two. Did not cost me anything, but cost the giver so much. He cost the giver so much. Praise God. The gift God gave to me, I didn't pay for it. It didn't cost me anything. But he cost him so much. He cost him so much. He cost him so much. To the extent that he cost him his life. He cost him his life. Jesus coming to this earth. Literally was God coming to this earth. Praise God. Was God himself coming. Because when he saw my men languishing 
on earth, he said, this man that I have found in my own image, why is it happening this way? I will find a way to redeem him back to me. I will find a way to redeem him back to me. That was the reason that I could not pay for it. It didn't cost me anything. Just to believe in him, but it cost him so much to give me the gift of salvation. To give me the gift of salvation. Praise Master Jesus First John chapter 4, verse 9. First John chapter 4, verse 9. In this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. That we might live through him because he did not cost me anything. He's just for me to believe in him and I will live. I will live again. When Ma fell from grace, Ma died in the presence of God. Ma died in the presence of God. Because when we remember, when we look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to, towards 28, when he came, praise God, he said, let's make Ma in our own image and likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every over every creeping things that creeped upon the earth every things that creeped so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he then praise god he created us in his image man that was not deprived was like god man that was not deprived was like god but when man was the deprived man has nothing to in, to compare with god praise master jesus also romans chapter 8 verse 32 romans chapter 8 verse 32 praise master jesus did not cost me anything but Cost the giver so much. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Give us all things. He paid the price for me and you because he caused God his own life, his own life to redeem my battle to himself. Praise Master Jesus. On my list here, number three, I have been favored. He said, give because I have been favored. He said, gift for me because I have been favored. In Luke chapter 1, verse 28, we we'll remember when the angels came to Mary, praise God. And the angel came in unto her and said, hey, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. I am, I am favored. The, that is the reason he gave me the gift. That is the, the reason he gave me the gift of salvation. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord somebody. If you know you have been favored, shout a believing amen. Number four on my list here, praise God. This was the expression of his love for me. The gift was the expression of his love for me. First John chapter 4, verse 10. First John chapter 4, verse 10. He was the expression. Hearing is the love. Hearing is is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sin to be the propitiation for our sin to pay for our sin to be, to be the ransom for our sin that was the reason why he gave us the gift because he didn't want us to die in sin praise master Jesus and also, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans 5, verse 8. 
But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinner, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinner, while you and I were yet sinner, that we know not God. Then he sent his son to come and die for you and I. That was the reason he sent his son to come and die for you and I. And Titus chapter 3, verse 4 and 5. Titus 3, verse 4 and 5. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, towards man appear. Not by words of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Brethren, there is nothing you paid for Christ to come and die for you. There was nothing you paid because he loved you. That was the reason he came to die for you. That was the reason God gave us the gift, the universal gift, the universal gift. Gifts are precious. What makes it a gift? Gifts are precious. Matthew chapter 26 verse 7. Matthew 26, verse 7. Gifts are precious. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of every precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. Praise God. When we look at this place very well, gifts are precious. This was a woman, a Salary, a whole year's salary of this woman, that was what she used to purchase this alabaster bus. Also, Mark 14, chap verse 3. Mark chapter 14, verse 3. And being in Beth Bethany in the house of Simeon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment or spinked, very precious, and she break the box and pour it on his head. Gifts are precious. Gifts are precious. David said, I will not give to God that which cost me nothing. I will not give to God that which cost me nothing. This universal gift God gave to us cost him everything that he gave to us. Cost him everything that he gave to us. Praise Master Jesus. Therefore, brethren, have you considered what it takes God to commend his love towards you as a gift of salvation? So respond to him with a heart of gratitude and your life will not remain the same. Your life will not remain the same. I pray for you today, his work on your life will not be in vain. I pray for you, his work on your life will not be in vain. That which God has done on your life will not be in vain. God, People will not ask you, where is the God that you are serving? Because you serve a living God. Now that you have come to respond to him, now that you have come to know him, now that you have come to know him, his work on your life will not be in vain. Stand on your faith and begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Give him thanks for that which he has done for you. Give him thanks for that which he has done for you. Because the love of God towards you will not be in vain. The love of God towards you will not be in vain. As you have come to celebrate that gift that God has given to you today, he will not be in vain. He will not be in vain. That which God has done for you will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are going to open our mouth and pray that the gift that God has given to us, he sent his only son to come and die for us. Not because, not because we, 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 we are, we are so, 
as in not, not because that we we are so we we oh god i don't know how to put it not because we are we are worthy of it not because we are worthy of it that is sin is only because it's all to come and die for us if you are cooking now you cut your hand it will pay you not to talk of you not to talk of you put, uh, they will put your hand on a wood and and begin to pierce it you are going to open your mouth and say god i thank you for paying that price for me i thank you for paying that price for me i thank you for paying that price for me i thank you for giving me that soul to come and die for me for all the sin that i committed thank you, Lord. You send that soul to come and die for, for you, me. Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin Thank to you, pray Lord. and appreciate this great God for Thank that you, gift Lord. that he has given to you. For Thank that you gift for that he has given to gift. you. Begin to appreciate him. Thank you for appreciate the precious great gift. God. Appreciate him for that gift that he has given it, to you. But you did it for me. Thank we thank you, you and thank God for that gift that you have sent for us. For that gift that you have given to us. Baba, we say thank you. And shout of death, we say thank you. Thank we you, appreciate Lord. your holy name. Thank we you, Lord. give you thanks, we give you praise. Thank you, we Jesus. give you heart adoration. Amen. You are still going to open your mouth and pray. And say, anyone that wants to take me out away from this glory. Yes, Lord. Anyone that wants to make me to go away from this glory, not to enjoy the gift. That God should take that person out of my life. No. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes, Lord. Because there will be someone that will take you out for you not to Any enjoy that, that gift. To take he will take you this, out this, and take you to the cross for you not to enjoy that gift that God has sent for you. Open your mouth and begin to say, Anyone that wants to yeah, take me out, that God should take that person out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to pray that God should take that person out. Yes, In Lord. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are still going to pray that that price that God has paid for me will not be that Jesus has paid for me yes, will Lord. not be in waste. Open your mouth and begin to pray that it will not be all a waste. It will not be me, a waste. Lord, it will, not, it will, not, be be will not be a waste. Will not be a waste. But when that price that God has paid for me will not be a waste. Will not, we not be a waste. We not be a waste. Yes, Lord. We not be a waste. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray because it's not by your power. It's not by your power. If they send you to go and die there, or if they send you, they send you should carry one of your sons to go and die. You will not allow. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray and appreciate this great God. Begin to pray and appreciate Him. Begin to pray and appreciate Him. Begin yes, to Lord. pray and appreciate Him. Appreciate we this appreciate great God. For the appreciate Him. Life. Appreciate Him. Appreciate Him. For the sacrifice. Appreciate this great God. For laying down your life for us. Appreciate this great God. God, put your hands and begin to appreciate this great God. Baba, we say thank you. We appreciate you. Baba, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. 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 Oh Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we still remain standing, we call on Miss Mary MSC. Mrs. Mary MSC for the Bible reading. Let's take our Bibles in our hand as we take the Bible reading. Praise God. Please, let's open our Bible to Matthew 27. We are reading from 27 to 54. Matthew 27. We are reading from 27 to 54. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they striped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reel in his right hand, and they bow the knee before him, and mock him, saying, Hey, King of Jews. And they split upon him, and took the reel, and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him, and put his raiment on him, 
and lead him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Sarin, Simon by name. Him they compared to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Gogota, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him venga to drink, mingle with gar. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garment, casting lots that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garment among them, and upon my virtue did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and sat up over his head, his accusation written, This is the Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then we are there, two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by revealed him, watching their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyed the temple, and builded it in three days, save thyself, if thou be the Son of God. Come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief prince, mocking him, with the scribes and elders, said, He save others, himself he cannot save. He be the king of Israel. Let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver himself now, if we we'll have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his seat. Now from the, seventh, the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land, unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Ella, Ella, lama sabatani, that is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, where they heard that, said, This man called for Ella's. And straight away one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with venga and put it on a reed, and gave him to drink. The rest said, Let be, let us see whether Elat will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twin from the top to the bottom. And the air did quake, and the rock rent. And the grave were opened, and many bodies of the saint which slept arose, and came out of the grave after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. The congregation say, Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. At this junction, we take our second hymn. The rugged, old, the old rugged cross. On the hill far away stood an old rocket from the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love the old cross where the terrorists are bent for a world of lost in the most So I tear in the old Oh 
standing let's make our confession of prayer hallelujah heavenly father you are wise and holy and all your judgment are just we humble ourselves today under your mighty hand confessing that we are a proud and hypocritical people like the pharisees we love to project the external appearance of righteousness. Why in world we are reverence wolf? We are satisfied when the outside of our cup is clean, yet care nothing for the approval of our sovereign creator, who alone is able to judge the thought and the intentions of the heart. We confess our hypocrisy hypocrisy as sin and repent of it for the sake of your dear son who suffered and died so that we might have life. Cleanse us from all ungodliness and, and death. Deceit, I mean. Grant us true in our inmost part, inmost being and help us from now on to walk in the honest and humility of the renewed life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You may have your seats in your heavenly places in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You are all welcome to the present night of glory, March edition. Celebrate God for that. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to you to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. This is God's praise and worship ministry where life is being made easy and this place is also called the praise land. If today is your first day of joining us online, please put down a comment for us to identify you. And as you do so, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Her weekly and monthly activities remain as usual. Please, let's take note of this announcement. On the 31st, which is on Sunday, our sister, Sister Pamela, will be doing a special Thanksgiving. Please, let's invite our brothers and sisters. Come and join us to celebrate. I know you are the next to celebrate in Jesus' name. The same 31st is Easter day. Hallelujah. And that same day, time will be changing one hour forward. Please take note. If you know you don't have Android phone, take note. Hallelujah. Amen. On Monday, we are here for our dancing, dancing, dancing. Celebrate the God of this commission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. After we finish eating our Easter food on Sunday, on Monday we are here to dance to the glory of God. I will be here by 5 p.m., not 5.30, please. It's all true praise and dance. We are coming to give God the glory. Hallelujah. Invite our members that are not aware. Hallelujah. On the 6th, which is on Saturday, is the workers' workshop. Please, departmental head, take note for that. 
Upper Sunday is a monthly thanksgiving and thanksgiving of those born in the month of April. I am one of the girls. Celebrate God, April born. Hallelujah! If there is any further announcement, the pastor will let us know before the close of the service. Join us in all of this graceful event and express eternal glory. God bless you. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Someone celebrate Jesus. Is the reason why we are gathering. He is the reason why we are gathering. Is the reason for the season. Is the reason for the season. At this moment, we are calling on the drama group for their prelude that we are going to be watching. Sit back and watch what they have for us this evening. Praise God. What is it? Brother John, what are you doing with a gun? Shineke me. John, what are you doing with a gun? How will I help you with a gun? Is this to play? Choosing this to do what? Brother John, I have told you ten without number. The kind of life that you are living. How may I help you? To help you with a gun? What do you want me to do now? That I should hold it? I should keep it? Brother John, look at what you have caused to yourself. John, John, every time I keep on telling you, I keep on telling you that this life that you are living, this is not how Papa trains us. This is not how. John, I am disappointed. How will I help you? How will I help you, John? How will I help you? I should help you. With a gun. With a gun. John. John! FBI! FBI! So you are the one with the gun. We have cash you. You are the one, Abby. Why are you Lily down? You are the one. Why are you Lily down? You are the one. John! Are you asking the question? You are dead. Move! John! Move! John!
between Mr. Mike and the, and the states. This is the case we have for today. Can the persecuting lawyer and the defending lawyer introduce themselves, please? My Lord, my name is Barrister Juliet, and this is my learned colleague, Barrister Mike. We are the defending lawyers. The persecuting lawyer, can you continue, please? Thank you, my Lord. As we can see, the case before us here is a very delicate one. Because looking at this man, he is very, very innocent and calm. Very cool. Even the way he's dressing, one will tell this man is a calm man and he can never hurt a fly. <laughs> but according to criminal law, in paragraph 5, subsection 10, he states, and I quote, that loose can be very, very deceiving. Look at him. Very innocent. He cannot hurt a fly. But I put it to him that this man is a high death criminal and a killer. A murderer. Thank you, my lord. But looking at this man, he is a murderer and he has killed. Now tell me, on the 24th of February, 2024, at exactly 4 p.m., where were you? I was in my house. <laughs> you were in your house. You were in your house. I was in my house. So tell me, was it your spirit that went to kill the son of Sinetor Okoro? Was it your spirit that went to murder the son of Sinetor Okoro? My Lord, that will be all for now. The defending lawyer. <coughs> my Lord, thank you for this honor. We all had, when... My learned colleague here called him a gentleman. As you can see, he can't hurt a fly. My client is very innocent. In his look, yeah. Very, very innocent. And it is so shameful that my learned colleague is trying to intimidate my client by putting words into his mouth. And it is recorded in the law that my colleague here can't accuse my client without proof, without a concrete evidence. My Lord, my client here is a honorable man, very innocent man, as you can see. That will be all for now, my Lord. The persecute lawyer. Man looking at him, he's a gentleman. Do you have a concrete evidence to prove this case you brought before me? <coughs> Thank you, my lord. It's rather unfortunate that I'm debating with baby lawyers that do not know anything. I present to you, my lord, the murder weapon. Okay, I asked you again, on the 24th of February, 
2024 at exactly 4 p.m. Where were you? You said you were in your house, right? So now, if you were in your house, tell me, how come the murder weapon was found in your hand at your house, your own house? So you want to tell me that the murder weapon flew? It has to to fly to your hand in your house, and then it was found in your house. So can you tell the court why the murder was, was found in your house? I can still remember. It was a mistake. Ah. I didn't do it terribly. Okay. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Please, you people should pardon me. Please. <laughs> it was a mistake. It was a mistake. That the murder weapon was found in your hand. My Lord, arrest my case. Defend the lawyer, please. has been brought today in court. I and my learned colleague, we are in shock. Therefore, we say, let the law take its course. That will be all for now, my Lord. Mm. Before I pass my judgment, Mr. Policeman, you were in the scene where this thing happened the other day, as they stated here, that you were the police that arrested him. Yes, my lord. Are you sure this is the weapon you found with him? Yes, my lord. This is the weapon we found with him. Very sure. Very sure, my lord. Mm. Now, this is my judgment. But tell this evidence and all they have said. You are hereby sentenced to death. This is the same way Jesus died for commits. He died on the cross of Calvary. Even though he didn't commit that sin, even though he was innocent of it, even though all evidence was against him, but yet, he is innocent. For he himself bear our sin. And he himself bear our iniquity. Brothers and sisters, this is the same way Jesus was led to the cross. To die for sin that he did not commit. The brother is being crucified. Not because he committed that sin. But he is dying just to protect his own brother. The same way Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. Just for me and you. He took our place in death. We are the ones that are supposed to die. But he took our place in death. He was crucified. He was tortured. He was crucified. He was murdered. He was beaten. All us were against him. But he bear it. Think of it. Meditate on it. And see if this prize is worth throwing away or it's worth celebrating. God bless you. have only five minutes. Brother, I'm so sorry. Sorry for everything I'm putting you through. I know you are going through this because of me. I am sorry. Bro, John, get off. I am doing this for the love that I have for the family. Get off. 
my problem that I have with you is that this life that you are living is unfair. I have told you time without number that this life that you are living is going to put you in problem. Look at what you have cost to yourself. Look at what you have done to yourself. It's unfortunately. John, I want to advise you. You better stop this life that you are living. Until you brought another pain to yourself again, John. I hear what I am saying. Look at what you put on. How will a normal human being put on this kind of dressing? Just look at it. Half, half, half wear. Look at it. This is the life that I am telling you you should deviate from. Look at what you have brought to the family. Shame. And this is all this wife we have been praying that we will see glory, we will not see shame. You have brought shame into this family. I don't know what to say. Wait, wait, I don't understand. Because of waiting, I wear. Now you and wait, 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 wait. What is this? I will beg you, said may you collect that gun for me. That this one, I, this one, I Chris man, wear. Look at. Just look at it. Okay, because you collect Can gold for my hand now. I will beg you. Walk along the street. Because of what you just see scene. now, you can't begin to condemn me. Not be your fault. I blame myself. I will see come see you for a side prison. Now you insult my dressing. Not be your fault now. Like I say, I beg oh, you, may you collect gold for my hand. You just insult me anyhow. And my fault, say I can't see you for prison. Say, for you carry me for yourself. I may even jump off. You see, this is how the of us are forsaking Lord Jesus Christ. Asking ourselves, what has He done for us? He died. He died. And so what? And then we intend to live our life the way we want. Therefore, making the sacrifice useless in our lives. But I will tell us something today that we do not know. We are all living a borrowed life. Let us please return to our first love. Because do not be deceived. Whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Five years later. Do you want to drag with me? Move. Move. Sit down. Say, sit down. Now you are not. You are not confessing. For they were, where they, where they were asking you, what, what, what were you saying? Shut up! I'm talking, you are talking. Are you, are you crazy? Shut up. Don't talk to me when I'm talking. Uh, go on your knees. Go on your knees. Thank you all for watching. We might not understand this drama. 
For this is how our Lord Jesus Christ was persecuted for our sake. He did something wrong, yet his brother took the cross upon himself, took the body, took the pain for him. But at the end of the day, he still did not appreciate what the brother did for him. You all could see the question he was asking the brother. I send you. Now me give you the gun. And so many of us are asking God today. Now me say make he die. I wasn't even alive when he died. But at the end of the day, let me tell you something. No matter what you do today, if you do not return back to him, it will still come back to you. Because whatsoever you sow, you will reap. He has died on the cross of Calvary just to bear our burdens, just to bear our pain. All we have to do is to give him back what he has given to us. That at the end of the day, everything will be made manifest in a life that is for good. If you want to enjoy the death he died on the cross of Calvary, go back to your first love. And as you do that, God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. That was educative. That was that was it. That was what happened on the cross of Calvary because Jesus took that pain, that which he did not commit. The price, the, pay, the price that he didn't owe, he paid the price. That was what happened ver that very day. And today, many are still turning their back on him saying that I didn't know what he did for me. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Praise God. At this moment, we are going to be preparing our heart as we begin to weigh as the choir take the administration. Prepare your heart because the song that is coming will minister unto you. It will minister unto you. It will minister life unto you. Amen. The life that Jesus has given us, the life that he has paid for, the life that he has paid for, that life will manifest. That life will manifest. That which he has done for you will not be in vain as we listen to the ministration of the anointed voices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A special number tonight says, Praise Jehovah because he has won our battle. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah. The heavens are open. Praise Jehovah. For the shower suffering. Hallelujah. The chains are broken. Jesus has
Jesus came and he won. Yes, he won the victory. He said, it is Indeed. 
as we stand to our faith, let's welcome our father, my father, your father, Pastor Nusa Omorigi, for the word. As he come, prepare your heart for the word. The word is able to change. The word is able to liberate. The word of God is able to liberate life, to change life. That word that is coming your way today will change your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. If you know that you know that it is settled for you, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just wave your hand and worship this King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lords because He's God. Beside Him, there's no order. No one can do the things He's doing. He's done so much for me. And I cannot tell it all. Lord God. 
to pray. I don't know whether you can pray or you will need a neighbor, someone that you know really can pray so that they can energize you and encourage you to pray. If you can find someone that you can hold hands with, not someone that will distract you, but someone that can really pray. And you want to pray to God. Amen. If you find someone, There is a force coming from a distance, coming from where you hail from, your native land, a place where you came from, a place one of these days you will love to visit. Every force from that place that wants to snatch a precious thing away from your hand. Yeah. The Bible said that the devil it comes as a thief to steal. It comes to kill and it comes to destroy. Yes. We're going to pray mm -hmm. that you will not lose anything that is precious. Amen. You will not lose anything that is precious. Amen. You will not lose anything that is precious. Amen. Amen. So you agree with that person now and say, I'm going to be praying with you for you and praying for me. So our prayer is precious. Any power from where you came from, from where you came came from. from. I want to steal from you anything at all that is precious anything that belongs to you I stand in the gap I stand with you to disagree with them and command them to hands up by fire to hands up by fire to back away by fire open your mouth and begin a fire prayer any power from where I hail from, I let to celebrate. Can do Any power that want to steal what belongs to me, any power that want to kill what belongs to me, any power that want to destroy what belongs to me, arise, O God. In your name, I command that power be terminated. Let the forces be terminated. Anywhere they go to hide it, I recover. I recover. I recover. Whatever that has been taken from me by trick or by force, Mama, I recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. They let them 
Rosada, Yana Gada Baraka de Kedeke de Kede, Lika Lebre Josia Kareka Lebra Gada Bayor Dosa, Rane Galele, Rakale Baroto Sariada, Rete de 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 Gado, Yala Gada Baraka Sete, my God, I pray in the name of Jesus. What are you waiting for? That power. Any power targeting what is precious in my heart. Any power that is targeting what is in my heart. What are you waiting for? For that and that. For that and that. For that and that. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. There shall be no distress. There shall be no loss. There shall be no death. No death. No death. In my life. In whatever that pertains to me. In whatever that is connected to me. In whatever that is related to me. There shall be no death. 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 There shall be no loss. There shall be no distress. Para Sokoto. Jesus, you are here. You are here for my life. You are here for resurrection. You are here, oh God. Don't you, Sarah? Fight as many. They want to destroy the precious gift in my hand. Parasetele. Yatakata ledosha. Rekete kete kete. Lika la bada karadada. Rekete la braso tonada. Yete redada. Yete kadada. 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 Ratala. Radade. Rekalada. Yate parosete de kalibra koso. In the name of Jesus, you are going to intensify prayer so that you will not lose anything. Amen. So that nothing will die. Amen. So that nothing will be destroyed. Amen. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that intend to kill in my life. No. Any power that intend yes. to destroy. No, 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 any no. power that intend to steal. Yeah, 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 yeah. What belong to me or what pertain to me. No, no, what no, is no. connected to me. Any power that want to kill. Any power that want to destroy. Any power that want to steal. Holy Ghost fire. Arise and bring the dark. Arise and break the door. Arise and break the door. On your way, your master pray. Agree with that person. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. Let the dead Any power that want to steal, any power that want to destroy, any power that I am the dead Rally calibra kata. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. The cutting of the wicked fail. The cutting of the wicked fail. The cutting of the wicked fail. He fell by fire. 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 Para soto ratale. Yakezeli para calibre dolo. Reketu salakada. No power. From any village that is coming out of the life of my children, coming out of the life of my sons and daughters, all over the world, my father pray, arise and destroy the power, destroy the power, destroy that thief, destroy that thief, that thief that still destiny, that still makes glory, that still makes possibility, Baba, rise against them, arise against them, arise against them, arise against them. Arise against them! 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 The net no do do, rata da do da, ke loko do koro 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 koro. Ya ta ta ra da, any break or do do do, any power that want to strip me naked, that want to strip me naked, Baba rise, Baba rise, quench them by fire. Quench them by fire! Quench them by fire! Quench them by fire! Quench them by fire! I am the God of God. Power that's more so dead. Power that's more so dead. What are you waiting for? For the ladder! 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 Every power promoting death in 
in the life of my sons and daughters all over the world. Papa, I set the fire against them. I set fire against them. I set fire against them. Fire like a There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. I take authority over the power of your father's house. Over the power of your father's house. The power that want to kill. The power that want to waste destiny. The power that want to kill. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yata da da yata da 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 Pray, 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 pray. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. And let the door of the door of the door of the door. Yarwekele be be kudosiata. And no kolo do. Remove your heart from my property. You evil power. Remove your heart. 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 In Jesus' name. Today is your day of redemption. Amen. You're going to pray. We're not done yet. I'm going to Bini. I'm going to Bini. I'm going to a mountainous place. I'm going to a hill. And by the hill, there's a valley. And as I'm there now, I am seeing an altar. I'm seeing a sacrifice. Anyone by that altar. Offering a sacrifice to put down the life of someone here in Europe. I am a recalibre God Any sacrifice in Allah to get in the life of someone here. Marete Lagada. As you clap your hand, kid. As you clap your hand, kid the otter. Clap your hand, stop your leg. Let the otter scatter. Let the altar scatter. Let the altar scatter. The altar that is looking for blood. Any sacrifice against God's people. Any sacrifice against anyone that the sound of my voice. Gata da 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 da. Rele ke te mere koto si atare. Yeta la da 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 da. Sacrifice against the people of God in this land. Holy God. Destroy the sacrifice. Destroy the sacrifice. Destroy the sacrifice. Destroy the sacrifice. He shall never stand. It will not 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 stand. Take it, 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 in the name of Jesus, Amen. the ground that have opened to swallow sacrifice against me, fire, vomited by fire. Amen. The ground, I'm not hearing you. The ground, the ground, the 
has opened mouth to swallow sacrifice against me, funded by fire. Any sacrifice blown in the air, cast in the water, hang on the tree because of me, because of my family, because of my people. What are you waiting for? Burn by fire, burn down by fire, burn down by fire, burn down by fire. Let the sacrifice be washed there. Let the sacrifice be washed there. Ataraka takatosha. Rela taraleha. Yetele katepanosha. Yandela. Likekete. Barreto sedesha. Iko roko togada. Lekureke de marakate sianda. Yetele katata tatata. In the name of Jesus, going to forbid your eyes from tears. Are you ready? Yes. You're going to forbid your eyes from tears. Amen. Forbid your eyes from tears. Forbid my eyes. Yes. Yes. Anyone yes. that wants you to cry. Anyone no. that wants me to cry. Only God's fire. Uh, only that tears go back to them. Yes. And you will, the crying. I will not be the one they are crying. I will not be crying. I will not be crying. We refuse to be the one that they cry. And we refuse to cry. No one will put tears in our eyes. We forbid tears in our eyes. We forbid every reason for cry. That evil report. Cancelled, Jesus name. Amen. We declare permanent victory in your life. Amen. We declare permanent victory in your life. Amen. Listen, the onslaught of the enemy, whether it's in your dream or in a physical world, because it's evil in nature, is wasted by fire. Amen. Amen. That I don't even care who is perpetrating it. As long as it will not mean well for you, it go back to the sender. Amen. Amen. If they can have a mind to plan it, they will have a head to carry it. Amen. Uh, if they can have a mind to plan your downfall, they will have a head to carry that downfall. Amen. Everyone that have dug a pit against you, I command them to fall inside their pit. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Alagada, is somebody listening to me? In the name of Jesus, let the hand of them that is digging grave. Let them be reversed. We send them back. We send them back. We send them back. We send them back. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are sponsoring power, that your two legs that brought you to this land will not carry you. I decree the name of Jesus. You keep walking. No man will compare you to enter a coffin. No man will compare you to enter a coffin. I say you came walking with your two legs. You will never be carried in a casket. You will never be carried in a casket. It is not your portion. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Let the plan of hell fail. We are going to pray the God of impossibility make it happen for good for us. Amen. The God of impossibility. He said to Jeremiah, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? The God of impossibility. Make it happen for us for good. Make it happen for good for us. Make it happen for good for us. Don't it surround. Don't it surround. Don't it surround. Turn the story around. Turn the report around. 
what the enemy meant for evil, Papa turn it around for good. When they want to see us down, Papa raise us up. Yeshua raise us up. Adonai raise us up. Elohim raise us up. Snete kalete barete kaledusa. Yala bare kalebredo. Liberados ya tareda. Elo na na tala na bata bata bare tareda. Elu talere. Barata rekatete. Yene baroko siadara. Ita baya kosa kalada. Rete kolo baya te. Tole tara boku boro. E barata baya kosa ta. Asaliti bi. Gonna be praying for men that are sick. We're going to be praying for Sister Nike. We use it as a point of contact. And we say, Father, change the report. Change the report. In that hospital. In the hospital bed. Those in the house. Wherever they are. Baba, change the report. Change the report. Change the report. Change the report. Sister Nike, wherever you are. We change the report. 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 We speak life forevermore. We speak life forevermore from this exalted altar. We speak to their destiny. We speak to their body. We speak to the tissue. We speak to the organs. We speak to the face, the marrows. Receive life. Receive life, receive life. Baba, you sent your word, and your word he let them of their disease. Father, we send your word forth now. Go, go and set them loose, set them free, set them free. Nika, you are free. Nika, you are loose. Thou are loose in the name of Jesus. Begin to decree your established victory. Yes. Begin to decree your established victory. No contemplation. Your victory is established. Yes, Lord. Go ahead and declare it. Declare with authority. My victory is strong. My victory is established. Yes, I get victory. Victory is my passion. Yes, Lord, I receive. I receive victory. Yes, Lord. Yato koto siade. In Jesus' glorious name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy yet again. Yes. Thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. Thank you for the prayer answer. Amen. Thank you for those you delivered from that satanic manipulated dreams. Yes. Thank you, oh God, because the intentions of her has been cancelled. Where they have planted death, you have planted life. Amen. You have said in your word that what you never planted must be uprooted. Amen. So agendas of her has been uprooted for you to establish Amen. your will. Did you not say in your word that your word is settled in heaven? And today, what did Jesus said? He said, let thy kingdom come and thy will be done. As it's being done in heaven, Father, we declare the implementation of your will in our life. That is to say, if you never said it, it will never happen. Lord, your thought for us, they are thought of good and not of evil to give us expected end. Therefore, I know your intention is good and pure. Therefore, whatever that be evil in every form of it is certainly not from you. For God can Cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he anyone with evil. Therefore, we decree anything that has the symptom of evil in it is not from you. The word said, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. You say, Let them say a word, it will not happen. 
Jesus. You say, let them call it, it will not manifest. Mm -hmm. I decree the name of Jesus I because see. Yeshua, you are with us. Let every gathering against God's people scatter tonight. Mm -hmm. And every tongue that have risen in judgment, in counsel, in shrine, in altar, we condemn them all in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. We come in the name of the risen Savior. We come in the authority of heaven and we establish the Lord God rebuke them all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Man or woman bent on troubling your life. Heaven Amen. troubled them. Did the word of God not issue a warning that you bear in your body the mark of Christ? Let no man trouble you. Anyone that get, go against God's order to trouble you, he said, touch not my noted and do my prophet no harm. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. May they meet their doom in the name of Jesus. They meet their doom in the name of Jesus. They meet their doom in the name of Jesus. Receive life forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of our God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invisible Baba, immortal God. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invisible Father, immortal God, how great thou art. God, you are the reigning Father. Immortal God, I pray thou art. Immortal God, if it's a God, I pray thou art. Yeshua, Immortal God, I pray thou art, O Lord. King are dead and buried. All other king are dead and buried. Those that challenge you, Kebe Hano. Those that want to compete with you, where are they? Where are they? You are the reigning king. All other king are dead and buried. All other king are dead and buried. You are the ready king. You are the ready king. All of the king that I never You are the ready king. Talk to your neighbor, say, tell your neighbor, help me dance. Aha. It's my celebration, no? You are the Reniki. Father, you are the Reniki. Almighty, you are the Reni, Father. Jehovah, you are the Reniki. Eshada, you are the rainy king. You are the rainy king. You are the king. All other kings are dead and buried.
All of the king are dead and buried. All of the king are dead and buried. You are the rainy On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My Lord is good. Forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My God is good. Forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My Lord is good oh, forevermore. On the mountain, eh? in the valley, yeah. on the land, oh. and in the sea. On the mountain, oh, in the valley, yeah. on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. On the land, even in the sea, I say everywhere, every territory, every mountain, hey, hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. In here. Come on, give the Lord a dance. Oh, yeah. Come on. He said, 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 The rain of an ending joy is falling in my life today. The house of Yeshua is doing wonders in my life. Is that you are? 
Aka aka ya e Aka ti o ba le me ma I o yo yo Mighty is the God in the valley. God of the day. Oh yes, He's the God in the night. God of the mighty is the God in the valley. God of the day. Oh yes, He's the God in the night. Everywhere we call it Jesus. Oh. He's the God everywhere. There's no place He cannot manifest. No situation He cannot turn around. No prayer He cannot answer. It. God of the day is the answer in the night. I say, God of the mountain, 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 mountain is the God in the valley. God of the day is the God with the poor. God of the mountain, God of God in the valley. God of the day, oh. Everybody lift up your voices, oh.
You are my end even before the beginning. You are the beginning even before the end. You are everything I can imagine or think about. You are my everything, Jehovah Shaddai. I will bow down and worship you, Lord. Oh, you are the Lord. You are my God. You are my Lord. Oh. Oh Jesus said that to you I Oh I we bother and worship you You are the Lord Yes we bother and worship you You are the Lord Remember Yes I we bother and worship you what will you do? Eh? Tell me, tell me, what will you do, sister? Tell me, brother, what will you do? Eh? For the glory he brought in your life. For the way he's taking care of you. Tell me what will you do now? Oh, Jesus said. What will you do, sister? My life, I will not be tired of buying. Oh, oh yes, sir. I will not be wearing on pressing you. I will buy. For all. Everybody, come on, bow, bow. I said, I will bow down. I will bow. I will bow. I will bow. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Speak to us in the language we understand. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. As we look into the seven last words 
of Jesus from the cross. The seven last words of Jesus from the cross. It's important that you understand that a day like this as is commonly known in the Christian faith that is a good Friday. It is speaking the revelation in the midst of the reality. Speaking revelation in the midst of reality. Because in a day like this where the Savior and the Master, the Lord of all, was killed, shouldn't be attributed as a good day. But there was something beyond the literal happenings in that day. That is to say, on such a day that the master was killed, should be classified and considered as a bad day. But the interpretation of the day was based on the actualization. Based on what the day was used for. Based on what the master accomplished on that same day. And by the time we begin to evaluate from the realm of the spirit, what happened that day, it can be defined that it was indeed a good day. A good day because a, some blood was shed? No. A good day that the master was killed alongside with criminals? No. A good day that with his death, he bought your freedom. A good day because with his death, he paved way from, for you not to be a slave again to the enemy. It was a good day because it was a day he handed to you. A day he paid and sealed a title deal on your freedom. It's a good day because on that day, it was the journey of a glorious journey. The beginning of a glorious journey. He embarked on what we describe as your redemption movement. He moved, he assessed, he entered, he went to the same place you could not go and come back. The same place if you were to go, it would be possible for you to go and to come back. And if you had gone, you would not go there in victory. You would have gone there, you would have been going there as a prisoner. But Jesus went in, commanded the gates to be open went in and stripped the enemy of all authority that was with him. Hand over to me what my people gave to you. Ignorantly, they throw it at you. And you, being a corny and crafty individual, took the chance of them not knowing what they had. Because when man could buy into the idea of the devil because he wanted to be like a God that he was already made in the image of. It's a pure high level of ignorance. Because Satan deceived him with what he was. And he fought for it. And so he gave him the authority. And Jesus went on that journey. Went on that journey to let the captives free. He went on that journey to set at liberty those that were bound. He went on that journey to pay the ultimate price that no one could ever pay. Today, we want to look at the procedures, things that happen in the process of buying your freedom. The things that happened. What happened? And we want to understand. Was it easy for Jesus 
that he went through it? No. But you were too precious to be abandoned. You were just too precious to what? To be abandoned. When the Lord consider the weight of what he was to go through, he said to the father, if it is possible, take this cup. He described the weight of what he wants to go through as a cup that will not be easy for anyone to drink. When the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus and said, can my children sit at your right and the other on the left? And Jesus said, it's not in my place to decide who sits and where they sit. But nevertheless, even if I was to decide that, can your children drink from the cup I'm going to drink from? So he considered that cup as everything rejected of men. You consider that cup. As everything that man cannot swallow. Even though they make up the concussion. With our hands we fetch evil. But with our body we refuse to bear what we have fetched. No man has been able to take the smoke. He gathered from his own firewood. He causes the smoke and starts opening the window to escape from the same thing he has gathered. So the cup was not representing anything good for Jesus, but represent everything rejected of men. Everything that the hand of man have gathered, but he cannot swallow. And so Jesus took that cup. And started drinking of it. He said seven things. In the process of drinking that cup. Seven things. And the seven things. Those things. Those words he said. We are going to analyze them. One after the other. And I want you to be able to appropriate it to your life. And see how. You begin to. Walk in that blessedness. Of what he has done. Not condemned by what he has done. Because as many who cannot come into what he has done. Will be condemned by what he has done. The Bible said this same Jesus is the rejected stone. Who have, this, uh, who have become the chief cornerstone. He said, when you come and kick your leg against it, your leg will be bruised. But in case you don't want to kick your leg against it, he said, don't worry. The stone will fall on you. And that will mean grinding you to a powder. If Jesus is not to be accepted because you feel it's difficult to serve him, then you will have no other option but to be destroyed. By what he has done. He is going to save now. But the reason why you will be condemned. Is no longer because of your art. It is because of what he did that you never accepted. If you want to be saved. By what he has done. Then listen carefully and swallow everything he has done. And let it produce the new life in you. And produce freedom for you. But if you, ask, if you reject everything he has done. What he has done become a testimony against you because you had the opportunity to be saved. You rejected salvation. And the Bible said, if we neglect such great salvation, where can we be found? What do you think will be your escape? What do you think will be your reason and your excuse? Jesus said this, the first word on the cross. In Luke chapter number 23, verse 35. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 
Jesus was talking about the forgiveness of the sins of the same people who were procuring his death. People who were putting together how he will die. Jesus was out there asking the Almighty to forgive them. Why will he do that? Lesson number one. Without forgiveness, it's impossible to appropriate salvation. It's impossible to do what? To appropriate salvation. That is to say, if God didn't forgive you, he can't save you. Doesn't matter whether he died. The reason he's dead can save us is because before his death and resurrection, there comes his forgiveness. Forgive them is the only ladder and the bridge that connected what he did with our life. If not for forgive them for they don't know what they do, we would have been suffering not only from sin, but also suffering for the fact that we crucify a Messiah that was sent to us. But when the Lord said, forgive them for they don't know what they do, he exonerated them from what they were doing. And he said to the Almighty, let them not further be punished, but let them receive mercy from what I am doing. In as much as Jesus dying required someone to put him to eat. Scripture have warned us that woe unto him who will bring the offense. Lesson number two. If he did not ask for forgiveness for us, we will not be in the position to do that either for ourselves. It requires one with purity to assess God. In John chapter number 9, the blind man said, for we know that God heareth no sinners. So if Jesus didn't pray for us before he went to the grave, who would have been holy among us to make the prayer of forgiveness for all of us? That was why in the Old Testament, if the nation sin or people sin, they will go to the high priest. And before the high priest will go to the altar, the holy of holy, he will offer an atonement for himself first. And then before he can declare the sanctity for the rest congregant. So Jesus understood, if I leave them unwashed, no one is qualified to do it. Jesus was the ransom. In fact, when he was coming, Matthew chapter number 3, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. If Jesus did not forgive us, we would have been condemned to death. So he told us, you know what we are saying? Ultimately, that person you need to forgive. Remember that if they are righteous, they will not have offended you. And if you wait for them to be righteous enough to merit your forgiveness, it will no longer be called forgiveness. Therefore, in their sin, that is the only time they qualify for forgiveness. You must be ready to understand that in coming into Jesus Christ, forgiveness must be received from him and must be offered to all. Lesson number three. You must understand that forgiveness must be received from him and must be offered to all. You know what he said in Matthew chapter number six? Verse 13 and 14. If you refuse to forgive men, they are wrong. 
If you refuse to forgive men, they are wrong. Neither will your father forgive you. Neither will your father forgive you your own wrong. Praise the Lord. Therefore, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That singular statement, that singular statement, lesson number four, exonerated us from the guilt of our wrong. That singular statement, number four, exonerated us from what? The guilt of our wrong. That is the only reason why you and I cannot feel bad that he died. We feel good that he died because he exonerated us from his killing. He exonerated those who were killing him that they were not going to be held responsible for killing him. What a God. They were killing him and he was telling the Almighty, exonerate them, exonerate them. In other words, make them not guilty of my killing. Make them not guilty that they killed me. And so, they, so today you and I stand not guilty of his death. But we are people who have benefited from his death. Second world on the cross. Luke chapter number 23 verse 43. Luke 23 verse 43. Today shall that be with me in paradise. Today shall that be with me in paradise. What lesson was Jesus telling us? He started with forgiving men. In the second world demonstrated that there is hope for the man that is forgiven. There is what? There is hope. Take note of that. That's an important lesson. Number one. There is hope for the man that is forgiven. Now hear this. Forgiveness is what gives you a second chance. Today, you will be with me in paradise. It's, it's another way of saying, if I actually forgave you for what I did in number one, number two is that there is hope for a man that is forgiven. Child of God, when you forgive men and still lock them away from your life, it's a reflection that your forgiveness doesn't mean forgiveness. Jesus said, Baba, I forgive them. Also, please help me forgive them. Don't write this charge against them. And he turned to a thief. You didn't hear me. He didn't turn to a righteous man. He turned to a thief and said to the thief, today you'll be with me in paradise. Sister, can I say this to you? There's hope. In salvation, there's hope. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. Doesn't matter what men have to accuse you with. Doesn't matter how many accusers you have. There is hope because forgiveness provides second chance. It provides what? Second chance. Anytime you are see, you hear somebody say, Lord, have mercy, he simply say, God, give me yet another time. Give me yet another time. And any time God forgives you, what he's simply saying is that you still have hope of making it with me. You still have hope of doing it right with me. You still have hope of becoming whatever you have choose to become. Today, you will be with me in paradise. What is lesson Number two to learn is that there is reward from salvation. There is reward from salvation. 
reward from one. That estate of being forgiven provides you with benefit. That estate of being forgiven. Anytime you said the Lord has shown you mercy, there is so much to start enjoying. Because mercy provides you with the opportunity. Look at a man who by sin should die. Here is he being provided with the opportunity to receive a reward. Do you remember that that man did only one thing and that brings us to point a uh, 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 third lesson. What did the man do? This man only acknowledged his sins. He acknowledged his sins. Lesson number three. To him who acknowledged with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, the Lord will not despise. To him who acknowledged with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, the Lord will not despise. Him being a thief didn't stop him from making it because he needed just to do one thing and that one thing he did. And what was that? He acknowledged his sins. David told us, I acknowledge my sins. My sins are ever before me. I acknowledge it. Can I say this? Sorry is cheaper than argument. But argument is more common than sorry. It's too expensive to argue. Too cheap to say sorry. But men choose to go for that which is expensive. They will blatantly argue to their own destruction than owing up. As short as it sounds, sorry, it simply meaning acknowledge my sins ever before me. And anyone who acknowledge, there's a reward. There's a reward. You stand the chance of having a second time with people if sorry can come early before your condemnation. Before people pronounce their sentence on you. Jesus said, those who want to take you to court, quickly apologize to them before they take you to court and the judge put you in prison. Quickly stared them. There were two thieves on the cross. One from that stealing was still obstinate. From his stealing, he was still arrogant. In his wrong, he was still filled with pride. So actually, Sin is not destroying men. It is their attitude towards sin that's destroying them. It is your heart nature that causes sin to destroy you. That's why God look at the intents of the heart, not the arts of the hand. Intents of the heart, not the arts of the hand. The arts of the hand may be wicked, while the intents of the heart may be pure. Do you understand where people can match you and you will feed the pain down to your brain but they innocently match you. Innocently. Like they never saw your leg. And they, do you know that even the pain if it's high heat, it can even penetrate and put a hole in your leg. The, the art is wicked but the intention is pure. Where a lot of people art can be very uh, uh, very little insignificant but the heart is desperately wicked. You know when you, you pass people and gradually and, and no, nothing. Why they cry? Nothing. I don't do 
Now this small thing, uh, not by mistake. Oh, God knows it's not a mistake. God knows it's not a mistake. You can be a thief and make it. Because of your heart will lead you to repentance. But once you are hardened, unbending, there are many of you that lack this simple word. Can you spell it for me? Yeah, spell it. Please, spell it. One, two, go. Everybody, spell it. Spell sorry. Louder, please. Again. Again. Okay. As simple as he spell, as simple as it is, difficult to say, that is what is compounding your issue. You don't know that you can tell God sorry and leave that long, long prayer you are praying. Father, you know you are the mighty in battle. Ancient of days. The, uh, uh, the Alagbadai, you know? The, all those things you are saying. Do you think God is listening? God said, I, uh, who told you that I'm interested in your sacrifice? Who told you that I'm interested? The only one prayer that God hears from a sinner is the prayer of repentance. God, I am sorry. I am sorry it's short, but answers before God more than prayers that are well elaborated, but prayed out from a sinful heart. That's a well-organized wasting of time. Yes, very well organized. You know when you sit down and you plan your prayer, and you pray that all prayer without repenting, well-organized wasting of your time. You, you think that God will be moved by the vocabulary in your prayers. You think that God will be so sentimental by the emotions you call in into your prayer. You know when you call your emotions? Father. Father. Oh God. Let my cry touch you in your heart. Oh Lord. Oh, Father. Let my weeping touch you in your heart. Oh Lord. And you will do all of that. And you just thought that while you are doing it, God will join you in the cry. I say, Oh my picky, what did they do to you? Why did they do you? God is not a man. The Bible says, God cannot be more. Galatians chapter number six. And let no man think he can be more for whatsoever a man so wet. The only escape from you not to reap what you sow was the demonstration of the thief. I'm sorry. And the other one said, eh. And then he died for his sin. And the other one got hope in salvation. Amen. Third word on the cross. Somebody learning anything? Praise God. Third word on the cross. Woman! Behold thy son. John chapter number 19, verse 26. John chapter number 19, verse 26. Woman, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. And the Bible says that the son took the mother. Jesus demonstrated the art of responsibility. The art of responsibility. The first thing we saw here is indisputably the greatest art of responsibility. Why? Jesus showed us that he was not blinded by the circumstance to forget his assignment. How many of us have forgotten why? Why we got involved in the things we are called to do in the first place? Son, behold thy mother, mother. Do you know Jesus have every reason to die and everybody will be sympathizing with him? 
but not him. Even in death, he was still organizing his body. Did you hear me? Even in death, he was organizing his body. Christianity is not a function of disorganization and confusion. Everything about God is well organized. Organized. That is why you cannot blackmail God to do things that he has not set out to do. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Are you aware that the angel appeared before the woman in Luke chapter number one and told the woman you are favored? Jesus did not dispute that. That even in death, he still remained committed to the favor that was pronounced on the woman. Woman, thou art favor. I'm about to die. I will not leave you unguided. Son, take care of mama. Son, take care of mama. The art of responsibility is a nature in Christianity. Lesson number two. The art of responsibility is a nature in Christianity. In Galatians chapter number uh, six, if you read from verse one, the Bible says, bear one another body. First Peter chapter number, uh, 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 what is it called? First Peter chapter number three, we read it. And if we, we, we go to Second Peter chapter number one, from verse three downward, and when we read it before we got to verse eight, the Bible says, let brotherly kindness continue. The greatest love, greatest law, was actually love to God and love to men, out of responsibility. Jesus said, in that day, I will say to you, Go to her. I don't know you on the condition. I was naked. You never cared. The art of responsibility is still a function of Christianity. Do not neglect caring. He said, do not be tired. Don't. He was told that. There are a lot of us that blind our eyes to the, we are so insensitive to what people are going through because we claim we are carrying a lot. You don't know what they go through. Brother, go through what you are going through. But when they go through what they clean one eye, they help somebody. Are you hearing me? Clean one eye, they help somebody. That is how God raised somebody to help the rest. Jesus, he has every reason to face his death and say, ah, what will Nafi do for me? You stop. There's favor on this woman. There's an act of responsibility with me. No wonder he told the disciples when they asked him, come and eat something. He said, no, my meat is to do the will of my father in John chapter number four. And to finish it, and to finish it, out of responsibility, and to finish it. So Jesus never left any stone unturned in regard to his calling. Never left any stone unturned. It was not a man who succeeded ministerial wise and never succeeded the family wise. He cared all around. Don't let your spirituality make you fear your responsibility. You are speaking it all to the extent that you do not know how to pay house rent. You are too spiritual that you don't even know when people are dying around you. I am so food is bony. Are you a Stop that kakaka off the gas. He said, but it's not me that own it. You see? You you don't have that act of responsibility. There's someone that will be responsible. I will be responsible. There's a way you'll be praying in the church as you are praying. You get where you go first. When they pray, after the prayer, you go meet. One of the elders in the church, hey, while I was praying, I saw hope in this place. I don't know, can we buy something to cover the hole? How did you see it when I was praying? I am spiritual, but I can still see responsibility. The Bible said that there were people in Haggai 
There were people that God caused their life because they were blinded and insensitive to spiritual responsibility. They were praising God, coming to church, but they never knew that the place was leaking. And God said, you will live in a house, deck and sealed, and you let my house to a ruin. Then I will take away your corn from you. What God is interested in, be interested in it. If God says, favor the woman, brother, when you are living your life, remember to favor the woman. Any person who sponsors what God is sponsoring, that person is lifted alongside with what is sponsoring. Any person who bless, oh, you don't know. You don't know. Abraham was returning from war. Eh? In Genesis chapter number 14. And the Bible said there was this man that wanted to give Abraham. Abraham said, hey, 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 don't do, not give me. Because the way, way that they see, if you give me now, you go say, Amen. now you give me. God, don't promise me. Genesis chapter number 12, say, God bless me. In Genesis chapter number 17, God now came to Abraham and said, walk before me and be perfect. Anyone who bless you, I will bless. Any man who calls you, I will cause. If you see what God is raising and raise it, you attract a blessing. That was the responsibility. Jesus cannot ignore Mary when Jesus, God had pronounced her favored. You, you pay deaf ear to what God is raising. When you see God is, is in a person's life doing wonders, Go close and put your hand to God. When he's carrying the person, we carry you along. You don't fight whom God is blessing. You don't, you don't say it doesn't concern me. Your promotion will take long. Find a man whom God is blessing and say, can I do a touch in your car? Amen. I thought I talked to somebody. Your email would have echo. Uh -uh. Find someone. Find someone. Find someone that is going up. If you not follow and go up, you may collect a mantle. Find someone. Hang around someone that have an agenda with heaven. Hang around somebody. Who is so inclined to spiritual matter and yet be sensitive to responsibility? You have a lot to learn. He was sensitive to responsibility. That brings us to the fourth word on the cross. Mark 15 verse 34. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why hast thou forsaken me? The eyes of the Lord, so of a purer eyes, that he cannot behold iniquity. That's the first lesson we learned there. Doesn't matter your position. Doesn't matter who you are. God cannot behold iniquity. God cannot. God cannot. God cannot do what? Behold iniquity. That is why if you read Revelation chapter number 21 and Revelation chapter number 22, Revelation chapter number 8, all this scripture, the writer told us, he said, let that person who is fitty, who is this, who is that, who does this, who does that, that think that in this kind of attitude, he's still going to make it. He said, don't be deceived. Nothing that is evil. He said, no lie, no warmonger, no adultery, no this, no that. He called it, he said, no, no, this, this shall inherit the kingdom of God. A lot of people think that their rank in Christendom is an escape from judgment. A lot of people think that there are acquisition on earth. Everybody going there, ah, my father, my father, why has that forsaken me? Jesus was crying. No, 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 that's not the point. He wanted you to learn the lesson that where there is a compromise, your popularity and your fame can cause an escape. He was Jesus. 
But at that time, where he bought the sins of the whole world, the glory of the Father cannot be on him. The eyes of the Father cannot be on him. What certificate do you have that makes you think you don't need sanctity and purity before God? What position in the church are you occupying that makes you think that you can get away with a loose life before God? What, what have you done for God and for men that makes you think with all that I have done, no person will be able to bring a charge against me? Hear the word of God. It doesn't matter what you have done. The Bible said that all men shall be brought before the judgment. Small and great. Young and old. Male and female. Christians and not Christians. Those that are alive and those that have died. They shall be all brought before the judgment room. And he said, the last enemy that will be judged is even death. Ah, yeah. Do you know that nobody escaped? Death was actually an instrument. If you read Isaiah chapter number 54, from verse 17, he told you that there is hunger, there is death, there is naked, and they were only an instrument in his hand. And yet, even what God used as instrument will still be judged. For what they did. If you don't want to know that, ask Gog, ask Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh understood that there was somebody that is making me not to agree. And they agree, finish in the evening. I will tell Moses, go and carry your people and go. And Moses will be going. All of a sudden, that thing that will be telling me to tell them not to go, we come again. I will go and block the road. Do you know for 10 times I got beaten by God? That ten times, I was asked to stop them. No one, I intentionally stopped them. God used him, and he didn't make him not to judge him. He is the son of God, yet the eyes of the Lord can be turned away. What lesson should I learn other than there is nothing that assess God without purity? The Bible says, without holiness, no eyes shall see the Lord. But there is hope. Where is the hope? My God, my God, why has that forsaken me? Second lesson we learn is that he's forsaken that we also may not be forsaken. The Bible says he became poor, that we might through his poverty become Rich. In other words, if he has been forsaken, it's because we also cannot be forsaken anymore. How? When he went through this, he made the atonement for your redemption. Now we stand on his righteousness to assess God. The righteousness of theirs now, of whoever that is coming before God now, is no longer the righteousness of the person's lifestyle. No. The Bible says, if it's of work, then man can boast. It says, it's not of works, but it's of grace. Let us therefore now come before the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and then find help in time of need. Need is not when you want to buy a car. The need there is not when you want to marry. The need there is when you want to assess salvation. He's the ultimate way. Like he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If any man want to enter, he must use the door. For everyone who uses the window, they are abortive. For I come that you may have life. Because someone else had come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He said, therefore, my own know me, and they know my voice. They will not follow another. Who are these ones that know him? The people who have used the throne of mercy. The people who have assessed grace. And they are counted in the number. Not for purity of their life. But the pureness of what he has done for them. What he has done for them. If I... If you remove... If I... 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 If
wool, pure white wool. That's what he wore you. It was a prophecy in Isaiah 1. But it was the fulfillment in Christ that by resurrection, he gave you life. He gave you life. That was what Paul described to the Roman people and said, if a man therefore now be in this Christ, he's a new creature, a new being made of flesh. Not that he had no stain, but he has received the purity that Christ gives. Then he said to them, blessed is the man whose iniquity is not put on him. He did not say who did not commit sin. He said, it's you are blessed that your sin is removed from you. Removed from you. Removed from you. So we stand before him today, not having a righteousness, but thank God that he was rejected so that I can be counted in the number. He cried, why had thou forsaken me? So that I can cry, Abba, Father. That's the only language we cry now. Abba, Father. We are no longer crying, why had thou forsaken me? Because the reason why he would have forsaken you has been resolved in Christ. In the name of Jesus, we can assess. In the name of Jesus, we can say, with the blood of Jesus, we are washed for the remission of sins. Tell me why you cannot enter. Tell me why you cannot be with the Lord. No reason. He said to. He did all that. And that brings us to number, number five. In John chapter number 19, verse 28, he said, I test. I test. When Jesus said, I test, what was he talking about? What was he talking about? Jesus was simply teaching us a lesson of dependency. A lesson of what? Dependency. He showed us the nature of a man here. And that makes him humane. That makes Jesus what? Humane. That is human. The human nature in him showed up. And Jesus showed dependent. They thought he wanted to drink water. So they brought vinegar. Jesus wasn't talking about drinking water. Jesus had told us early enough. In John chapter number 7, if any man tests, <laughs> if any man tests, let him come. Water was not asking for water. Water was teaching men how to ask for water. Oh, I wish I was talking. Water was showing men, if you can depend on me for blessed are they who hunger and test after righteousness. I have just shown you that I was rejected because of sin. In my righteousness, hunger for it. If you can hunger for it, you shall be satisfied in righteousness. Then out of your belly shall flow. 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 So when Jesus is saying, I test, Jesus was showing you, if you will depend on the Lord, then your strength in him shall be renewed. For they that wait upon the Lord. If you will wait. So it was not a time to say, ah, he did not show up. Well, I've been praying. I, I'm going. He didn't answer. Hey, 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 hey. I test. Are you still calling on the God who you just said is not showing his face to you? They that wait. Doesn't matter how long it are. He said, wait for it. For he shall speak and not lie. Jesus waited. Jesus showed us. That if we hunger and test, we shall be fed. Now hear this. Lesson to, second lesson to learn from this. Is that not until you hunger, you can't even be fed. Not until you hunger, you can't even be fed. Not until you hunger. In fact, let me say this. 
You don't take, you don't get until you are hungry. You don't take, you don't get until you are what? Until you are hungry. You don't get, you don't take, you don't get until you are hungry. A lot of people who sit in the church and wait for mighty things to happen to them, not all have experienced mighty things. You know why? You know why? Eh? They don't hunger. They don't test. That is why it doesn't matter how long you've been in a system. What brings answer doesn't lie in how long. It lies in how where. Hunger sponsors miracle. Hunger sponsors satisfaction. Hunger sponsors fulfillment. Ah. I'm desperate for you. I'm hungry for you. I'm tasty for you. That's the only thing that satisfies me. David said, my soul longs. My soul longs. My body is hungry for you. My soul is hungry for you. To see you. Allah barokoto. How, how, how much are you hungry to see the miraculous? How much are you hungry for power? How much are you hungry for science and wonder? How much are you hungry for a remarkable difference in your life? How much? How much? I test. I test. Jesus came to them that were in quest. For fish by the seaside and said, Come and die. He didn't give them goat meat. He didn't bring llama meat. What did he bring? Where were they? Where were they? Where were they? In the river. What were they looking for? What did he provide? Exactly what you are looking for. That's what you'll be getting. Oh, Pastor, my life is not the way I want it. You have been deceiving yourself. There is a desire in your heart that you are not conscious of. There is a desire that God can interpret that you don't know you are giving God the wrong signal about your life. Your nature can't deceive you. Are you hearing me? But you are the only one deceiving yourself. You are sleeping. No, 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 no. I'm meditating. It's only you deceiving yourself. Your nature is not deceiving you. You know what your nature is telling you? Your nature is telling you from the inside, we are tired. Let's sleep. You are saying, no, I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> no, I'm meditating. Even your nature is saying, where you take the meditate? Because we are not meditating. Consciously, amen. Are you aware? That consciously a man can ask for poverty and not consciously a man can ask for bigger poverty. The Bible says a folding of arm. There is, a, there is an attitude to life. You have indirectly told poverty wherever you are located. There is a way you are going about life that tells God you cannot have more than what I have given you because your nature reflects you can't handle it. And then you'll be praying, oh God, oh the Lord, I don't know what is going on. Any power holding me, you are the power that is holding you. What you hunger, you get. What you test, you get. What you hunger, you get. What you test, you get. What you hunger, you get. What you test, you get. What you hunger, you get. What you test, you get. If you do not believe it, how come you hunger for paradise and you got it? And then, now, now, on the, on the, amen. Are you hearing me? How come you, you are catching it? Everything you hunger for, you get them. But how is it that I pursue rice, I got it. But when I pursue money, I did not get it. You don't know that you are pursuing money. You never pursue money because you don't know how to pursue money. What you know how to pursue, you pursue. 
You are deceiving yourself that you are asking for money. You don't need money. You are not asking for money because you don't know. You have never asked her to pursue it. Right? Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I tell you. That brings me to the... So they gave him vinegar. Hey! He said, no. You do not understand. When I said I test, I was actually asking for something. And Baba have done it. And they declare it. It is finished. What is finished? Now the shortest way of describing it is finished. John chapter number 19 verse 30. Is that we quickly look into our trouble and we say it is finished. The word it is finished is another word you will use in this regard by revelation. It has come to fullness. What did I say? Write that one down. By revelation, that's, it has come to fullness. Do you know when something gets to where it should get to? You say, I am done. Do you understand that word? I am done. Yeah. I am done. So a lot of people can interpret it that it's finished. My sickness is finished. My trouble is finished. I know we can say all of that. Those are prophetic declarations. It doesn't work in that reality. <laughs> all right? It doesn't work in that reality. Because when Jesus declared it is finished, a lot of people are still getting sick by the day. So what finish actually? So when Jesus used the word it is finished, what he's actually saying is that it has gotten to the fullness. Everything I need to do for this salvation to be yours, it has gotten to the fullness. I have done it to let us. I have done it to what? To the letter. That means nothing remained that I should do that I have not done. That does not say that you have done what you should do. Mm. The, the, the irony of it is that Christians lay to lazity and laziness that it is finished, not knowing that it was Jesus' assignment that have come to fullness, not your own assignment. You, your own, you never ever went down. Irresponsibility makes you to rely on Jesus' fullness while you are still in your empty early stage. You are still empty. You are still empty. Malado Shagada. Sickness is finished. Poverty is finished. Na lie. You are all people. So poverty did not finish. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Go and tell your, 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 your wife at home that it is finished. <laughs> she will say, what do you mean? It is finished has to be explained in relative to Jesus' assignment. Write it down. It is finished has to be what? Explain. In what? In relating to Jesus' assignment. It is not practical with your daily lifestyle. <laughs> it is finished. It's not for you that is in primary six. You still have a lot to do. So what actually finished? What actually finished? Up to today, we still have demons to bind. We still have Satan we are binding. What actually finishes? That we did finish. Right? In fact, there are Christians now that are going to school. Some of them are going to school now. You know, I won't go do daughter. To take three person when never sick. I mean, when go sick. What did finish? No, no, no. A Christian is study. Do you know that there are people who are studying not to be nurse and daughter? Meaning, they have, in, they have hope that when they finish, they go get job. Job or what? Some are studying to be surgeon. That's to do operation. Who wants to do operation? Who, who naturally wants to say, carry me, go to theater, go cut me. So when people see they go to school, or surgeon, to be surgeon, who they will operate. They're waiting to finish. Banks are still opening today, giving loan. 
People are still buying house on mortgage. Now tell me, wait till you finish. I'm teaching you here. Be good if like that man, if I don't talk. <laughs> are, are you following? Praise the Lord. So the, it is deeper than laying it literally over everything around our life. Ignorantly, that's how we profess prophecy that disappoint our faith. Because these are the things we declare. When they don't go the way it should go, we start have thinking there's problem with God and Christianity. There's no problem with God and Christianity. It's we that is misappropriating things. When Jesus said it is finished, it's not our wahala that finish. If you think I'm lying, slap your wife. He go give it back to you and you will remember it has not finished. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Don't give your children food. After some weeks, they will get sick. It has not finished. Praise God. It has finished. It has finished. Next church, take care of another church. Go cut. God, they answer prayer. How many of you know? Eh? Trust God. Trust God. When pastor got to the throat here, he did trust God. <laughs> he go court. Call pastor, come back. What did they do for court? Trust God. He didn't finish. And it has not finished. And it will not just finish like that. Let me tell you what finished. Jesus walk on earth, preparing himself for death, was completed while he was about to die. In other words, you see this life I live, I can't live it again. I cannot be a man like I was before. The next time you see me after this death, I will be the raising savior, but no longer living in the house of anybody. I will be a spirit, and I will dwell in people as a spirit. Therefore, if there's anything you wanted to collect from me as a human being, collect it now, because few days from now, I will no longer be a human being you can interact with. This is what is finished. This is what is finished. And to date, the reason why we have the Holy Ghost is because it is finished. Jesus on earth, Emmanuel with us, finished. God with us, finished. What we have is God in us. So in case you are still relying on Jesus, my elder brother, Jesus, my friend, we are done with those days. Now, if you don't have knowledge about him, you don't get anything from him. Yeah. Everything we get from Jesus now comes from our knowledge. What should I learn? What's the lesson to learn from it is finished. Lesson number two. There's a completeness of assignment. Completeness of assignment. Another person showed us that what I'm saying now is the truth. The name of that person is who? Paul. He said, I have finished. <laughs> Do you know that Paul was alive when he was using the word, I have finished? That man have no house where he will stay. In fact, they do not have a house. He rented one. And he said, I have finished. I have kept. Now I go. What Paul was simply saying is everything that Jesus said, but in his own version. Another person who says something like that was Stephen. When Stephen was told to be killed, as soon as they picked the stone, Stephen said, wait, I say Jesus rise up. You know what Jesus rise up means? He's standing up to welcome me. It means... My time of being a human being on earth has just finished. So even if you people want to throw me stone now, go ahead. Because the Holy Ghost will not stop you. Because my season on earth is finished. When people understand that their time on earth has finished, they no longer pray the prayer of God, spare my life. They pray the prayer of God. And that leads us to the last thing Jesus said. Into your hand. I commit my spirit. Am I teaching you here? 
That brings us to the last, the seventh word. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Luke 23, verse 46. In other words, aside all this that I have done, there's nothing else to do. And if I know that my time is round up, I cannot leave my spirit astray, going everywhere without a sense of direction. God, you gave it to me. Now you are free to take it. Because where I'm going, I won't need it. Take. Take. Can I say this? Before you get to that place where you can declare it is finished, complete your work. Complete your assignment so that your spirit can rest in peace that you have done your work. Otherwise, it will not rest in peace. It will rest in trouble. Complete your assignment. And can I say this also to you? Live in knowledge because not until your time is completed, no person has the right to terminate your life. You, you, if you have not completed your assignment, any person invading your life, eh? There is, he deserve anything you feel like doing to the person. If you want to break the person's head, if you want to chase the person, chase the person. Don't tolerate. Don't tolerate. They did everything to make Paul shut up. To do this. Paul did not listen. But once time of Paul came, Paul surrender. Jesus said to Pontius, you, you want to kill You can't kill me. If I did not give you my life, you can't. The reason why I'm dropping it is because my time as a human being on this planet Earth is completed. My assignment is well done. Learn this lesson from Jesus. To whom you commit your body. To whom you are a servant to. Jesus did not leave his spirit to wander. He commended it into the hands of God. And you know what Paul came to teach us? We know that whatsoever we commit it to your hand, you are able to keep no wonder Paul came to Romans chapter number 8, verse 11 in particular. He said that God raised him. In that same spirit that raised Jesus. Why did he raise him? Because before he slept, he commended his spirit into the hand of the one that can wake him. Child of God. In John chapter number 6, the Bible tells us that if you will eat his body, then he will raise you on the last day. Commend yourself to him. Who can raise you? Commend yourself to him. Who can raise you? Now that you have the ability to commend yourself. Not that when you don't miss him, your family will define pastor when you go collect money, when you go, they go pray you from purgatory to heaven. They call the use mass. Imagine person will never know whether they go make him. He go to pray, make somebody make him. Okay. Now, someone will preach for you. Once, bam, you not there again. <laughs> it told you are God's hand, and it told whatever hand you commit to say. We're going to suffer for that side. We were there here, you have only one business. To cry and give that person a befitting barrier. To, to say where you will go, or by writing, rest in peace, you can think that you will actually rest in peace. It's, <laughs> if you like, we borrow the whole world to write rest in peace for you. If you are not resting, you are suffering. While you are alive, commend your, your spirit now into the hand of the one who can keep it. The Bible says, God, He says, keep yourself. How? That you may be found in peace without spot, without blemish in Him. Rise on your feet.
your death on the cross must benefit me. Say that. And every blessing he promised, I'm willing to take. Give me grace to do so. In Jesus' name, put your mouth and pray. Let me hear you pray. Zebre godo ziatare de bara ko segele de yata tare brando so keli brade lepe koto si andare baro so kolo prata yande go zegede rena praha le godo zale prato si anda lekete bragada the blessing he promised I am ready to take Baba give me give me give me give me give me tato koto koto the blessings that come with salvation the blessings that come with salvation. I will not miss any part of this salvation. What you have done for me will never be wasted. It will never be wasted. We 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 never be wasted. Le te calibrato siata rede. Yande colabra sato gadesh. Etelia da barrique te sando sharida. It will never be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus. We never be wasted. 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 Ne te calibratos. Ne cari and the handy basso calede. Rana te calibre hendo zaridi. Yetana gadosh. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's take our offering to the Lord quickly. We pray. Amen. The word of God says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Say, Good measure, press that shake it together, running over. Amen. Shall God cause men to give unto your bosom? You cannot give and still lack, except you are giving without wisdom. Give as you have proposed in your heart, not with grudge, for God loves a cheerful giver. Come and give. Let the offerings of her hand be blessed. Let the offerings of her hand. Will never be empty in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to pray. Amen. We are going to pray. Prayers for unbelieving people all over the world. Be in the attitude of prayer while we pray for nations and people who have not known the Lord or who are not in tune with the will of God. O oh, merciful, God, merciful God, you have made all men and you hate nothing that you have made. Nor do you desire the death of a sinner. But rather that he should be converted and live. Have mercy, therefore, we pray. Have mercy, therefore, we on pray. all who reject the gospel. On all who reject the gospel. On pagans. On, pagans. on atheists. atheists. On Muslims. Muslims. Hindus, Hindus, on Buddhists, Buddhist. on Arians, on the Roman Catholics, Catholics. on all who in their, pride in their pride like to make of their own ability. To make of their own their ability. Knowing, Father, Knowing Father that you resist the proud. Is the proud. Or give grace to the humble. And give grace to the humble. We ask that you grant, ask that you grant the gift of humility, the gift of humility to, these people, to these people. Cause them to see, them to see that depravity, depravity, as you have allowed us to see our own, so see our own. and lead them to repentance, lead them to repentance through faith in your Son, in your son. Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, our only hope of salvation. Now, Almighty Eternal Father, Almighty Eternal Father God, of Abraham, Isaac, and God Jacob, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we especially appeal to you this day, especially appeal to you this on day. behalf of all your people and your ancient people, Israel. Do not cast them all forever, O oh Lord, oh Lord, but look on them. Look on them. Now in, your mercy, now in your mercy, remove from them, remove from them their, blindness their blindness and hardness of heart. May the time quickly come, time quickly come when you cause the Jews the to Jews recognize Jesus Christ recognize as the Jesus. promised Messiah. United them to him by faith. And grafted them in again, and grafted them in again, into the rich roots of the olive tree, your church. O oh Lord, let it be in our days that you do these things, that we may see it and rejoice, knowing that your kingdom is very near. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Word without end, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessing from Mother Isaiah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I just pray for you these days. May your soul be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. May your heart be lifted for God in the mighty name of Jesus. May you hunger for God in the mighty name of Jesus. May you do the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Till Jesus come. You will be there in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Till eternity, you will be there in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. At last, all love us, both far and near, we will make it in Jesus' name. Amen.
Gracious Father, as we celebrate your death and your resurrection in this season, the very essence of your coming, let it be made manifest in our lives. Amen. We'll see the glory of your coming. Amen. We'll see the glory of your resurrection. Amen. And your death will come in vain. These are many more we pray. For even those who cannot pray for themselves, mm -hmm. we commit it to your hand. Amen. Same blessing, yes. same glory, Amen. forevermore. Amen. Be your portion. Wherever you are, all over the world, watching, same glory, Amen. same honor, Amen. same power, yes. same dominion Amen. is your portion. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. In Revelation chapter number 1, 5, and 6. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from in his own blood, and had made us kings and priests unto God his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And people of God say, Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and, and the sweet fellowship of the, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in this season of celebrating, enjoying glory and grace. She will have this place.